this is your hand game. We're back playing Hyper Wars. Last time we show we were showing off the bonus weapons. We just did Sheik and Impa, and now we're gonna go ahead and start with Lana. Here is Lana in her normal outfit that we see her, seeing her little navel, her belly button. Uh, this is the standard quest that you get in the Master Quest. Pretty cool looking, actually. Looks very, uh, looks exactly like CS Colors. Uh, and here is the Guardian Time. I don't know if I showed that in the LP. I think I did see his Guardian Time, but not Lana's. Since they are, you know, kind of the same person, so it makes sense they would have... Oh my gosh, Lana, stop jumping. Uh, here is the Twilight outfit you can get. It's green. Uh, does she still have that thing on the other ones? I'm trying to... Okay, she does. Um, and then here is Skull Kid. You, we, sh we, sh we saw this when we met with, up with Imp, uh, with Min now. This is DLC you can get. Um, and this is the Deku Mask, which you can get. It's also with the Majora's Mask DLC, but you get it in the Adventure Mode. Unlike the Skull Kid, where you just get that one automatically. So, yep, let's go ahead and look at her first weapon, which is the Book of Sorcery. We didn't really get to use any of its combos, so it's going to be nice for the whoops, fact that we'll be able to do that. So, this is the first one, the Spirit of Tomes. It's the weakest form. Next is the Ceiling Tomb. I believe we got this in the Story Mode. Uh, and then Sorcery's Tomb is in Adventure Mode. And the last one is the 8-Bit Book of Magic. So yeah. So let's go ahead and check out her attacks now. Alright, here we go. We're going to go ahead and use her Spirit Tome. I'm using the Book of Magic, her 8-Bit Weapon. Anyways, before we couldn't use nearly half of, like, even a bit of her abilities. So let's go ahead and start off. This is her X, her Y, Y, Y combo, just all the way. It's pretty decent. Um, her Y, X. Um, so if you're wondering, you're probably wondering now, the X button is unique in that it doesn't really do anything by itself. What you have to do is set up those glass towers. And then see, that's her Y, Y, X. And then press X, and then she'll shatter it. So that's where her, uh, strategy comes in where you make towers and then you make glass towers and then you break them. So wait for the to attack. Thank you. So yeah though, she's got some pretty good combos. So let's do this. Bam 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 bam. Her special attack's pretty decent too. It does quite a bit of damage. Look at that! It took the, down the rest of his guard. He had a lot left. So there we go with that. It's so pretty darn good. Just go ahead and Y, Y, X. And this is the cube attack, which you've already seen. Pretty good. And you can also shatter it too if you dodge off of it fast enough. It will remain there. This is good too. It will remain there for a while and shoot electricity out. And then you can go up and smash it if you want. You don't have to. I keep accidentally doing this attack. I think that's the final combo. Let me see. Why, 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 why? Yeah, that's the final combo, so why, why? I do that combo a lot now as well. So why, why? Nope, no combo. Let's go ahead and hit up here. Let's do that. Why, why? Nope, wrong combo again. I keep doing the wrong one. I'm trying to do. Why up oh, here we go. So there's this combo. Smashes them and then you press X and then BAM. So that does that. One, two, three. Here's the attack we haven't done. That one. It just kind of does like a widespread. It's pretty decent. I don't think it does particularly a lot of damage, but it's decent in the fact that it's pretty wide. And if you leave it, if you dodge out of it before you continue pressing the X button, I mean the Y yeah, the X button, you can uh, just um uh, flip into it and break it and do a lot of damage. So yeah, this attack, as you can see, doesn't really do anything on its own. I don't even know if it really does damage. It might be damage. I'm not 100% sure on that one. So I gotta be careful not to kill the rest of the enemies. I just gotta wait for the magic man. Come on. I'm waiting for you. Woo! This could be a decent way to get around too, kind of similar to uh, Impa's special X button. Alright, here we go. Activator special. And just use it. She summons like three plates and just... Whoosh. So yeah, there we go. Alright, let's go ahead and grab this real quick. And off we go. Coming for you. 
I should have activated it earlier. It's okay. Let's go ahead and start this. So yeah, Lana's quite a bit of fun. Her her uh, attacks are quite a bit of fun. I like her a lot. So yeah, the, the, the Book of Tombs is pretty good. It's not my favorite weapon she has, but it's pretty decent, you know, if you need electric damage. And there we go. Does a, <laughs> a wink to the audience. Cracks me up. And there we go. So that's uh, Lana's uh, weapon. Uh, with all her combos, like, that we didn't get to use, unfortunately, the first time. So yeah, that's Lana for you. And then the next weapon we gotta go do is the Deku Spear. So that's a good weapon. I like that weapon a lot. It's probably my... Oh, excuse me, that's gross. It's probably my favorite weapon Lana has. Because it's really fast, unlike the Spirit Gate, which is slow. I mean, don't get me wrong, the Spirit Gate's crazy powerful. But it's just... It, you don't have any invincibility frames, so you gotta be really careful. Alright, here we are again. This time we're looking at Lana's spear, the Deku spear. We saw, again, in story mode. Um, but here we have the first Deku spear. This, next we have the Krikyo spear, which you get in uh, adventure mode. Uh, the Pharon spear, which you get in adventure mode, which is the strongest form. And then the 8-bit magic rod, which doesn't look anything like it. But yeah, so that's her spears. So those are her spear weapons, and yeah, they're pretty fun. Okay, here we are, and we're going to go ahead and try out the Duka sti stat or stick. I'm using the 8-bit uh, wand, just for fun. I've never actually used it before, so it's actually pretty funny seeing the way it looks. It's huge blockiness. So yeah, though, um, you know, I used this weapon a bit during the story mode. We used it once, but it's a really fun weapon, so we're going to go. This is just a regular combo, just nothing but X's. It's, that is probably one of its best attacks, and then X, Y, you go into the air, and if you just press Y again, you'll do a magic blast, but if you press X, Y, whoops, if you press X, Y, X, X, you'll continue to use the Deku League like that, and then you can blast them with the magic. Okay, let's go see the, the Dongo. I do like the way this weapon looks, though, it's pretty cool, actually, the, the blue it has, and the Deku mask. I love that it has the uh, wooden, the Kirikyo shield. It's such a great little touch. He is angry. But he just doesn't want to... Come on, show me your weakness. I mean, again, you don't have to beat the Dodongo, but I want to... Oh, come on, dude. Okay, if you're not going to do that, then I'm just going to go ahead and fight until you show me your weakness. I gotta kill enemies. Alright, and we've seen this attack too, the leaf attack, which is pretty good. I mean the deco leaf. This is not one to see. X. I keep saying X, I mean YY. YYX does the um that. And this is Y Y Y Y X. Yes, three Y's and one X, which will make that world thing. There's the very slingshot. Two, three, four. There it is. Yeah, I like this one. And you can, um, when you use the Deku Leaf, you can ride in it when it's in the air. So you can, you know, do this, this, this. Whoops, wrong combo. Wow, come on, just freaking do your attack. You stupid. This is the one thing I hate. I hate fighting the dog for this reason, because sometimes he just will not show his weakness. I like fighting, uh, the, I forgot his name, but the giant bug, the giant spider thing, whatever. Because he always shows, like, he shows his weakness very quickly. The Deku Tree. And he should be ready to... Alright. I think we've seen this before already. Yeah, there we go. Pretty simple. Oh yeah, and his, uh, the X ability just summons a de- uh, Well, sometimes summon a tree. It does very little damage, or sometimes you'll summon a little Deku Sprout, and it will kind of like, you know, we beat Minna that one time, it will kind of jump around. Now there's one move I'm trying to do, but I always forget it's combos. Where you summon like a swarm of Deku scrubs, and it just like... Attacks everywhere. I'm really bad at doing it though. Uh, let's see. This, 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 this. There we go. So yeah. Right before you summon the giant ice. The icicles. In that combo. If you just do that, you'll uh... You'll summon a bunch of, uh, you'll summon like three Deku Scrubs. And anyways, let's go ahead and see what her magic is when you unleash it. I think we've done it before. 
He just kind of spears enemies. Alright, and that's that. Alright, here's the captain. Let's go ahead, take the magic. Alright. Let's go ahead and run it out. We still got like a hundred... I don't know, we're almost... Oh, we... Oh, never mind. I forgot. I thought we needed to kill 400 enemies for some reason. We'll just wait it out. Just wait in with the Deku mask. Just wait in. And... Should... Okay, here we go. This summons a huge Deku tree. And there we go. That's Lana's, uh, the Deku Stick. Pretty fun weapon. I like it a lot. <laughs> I love the 8-bit. I, I, lo I just love the 8-bit weapons in general. They're so funny. They clash with the, you know, high definition and, you know, polished polygons. It just still doesn't really work, but it's, and that's why it's perfect. And that's Lana, so now we only got one more weapon for her. The Summoning Gate. Okay, her next and last weapon is a very unique weapon, and this is the Gate of Time, her summoning her summoning weapon. So, looks very much like the summoning gates from the uh, that were summoning the monsters. Oh, and uh, yep, this one involves lots of dancing. So this is the first version, it's a pain in the ass to get. It's the Actually, the 8-bit compass is the pain in the ass to get. It's the weakest form. Here is the Guardian's Gate, looks pretty cool looking. Um, next is the strongest form, besides the 8-bit compass, is the Gate of Souls. Really annoying to get, but the 8-bit compass was probably the hardest weapon for me to get in the whole game. It's a huge pain, but it looks really cool. So with that, let's go ahead and check out this awesome weapon. What, 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 let's let her dance real quick, though. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's go. Alright, and here we are. We are going to go ahead and show off Lana's last weapon. Now, this weapon, though, is very unique, so it might take me a minute to explain. So, first off, let's just go ahead and do... Lana's base combos are really slow and, as you can see, not really impressive right there. Just the Y, Y, Y button. But the unique thing about Lana is, depending on her... Okay, so her X button will summon different bosses. So as you can see, I summoned a Dodongo there. So now, if I do Walk EX, I will go ahead and summon a Dodongo. Now, if you don't... Um, so, as you can see, the Dodongo shot two fireballs. Now, if I do that combo again, though, without summoning the Dodongo beforehand, I will do the combo, but it will be a much weaker version. And that's all, see? That's all that it will be, instead of the Fire Blast. So, let's see what we have here. That is this. I forgot his name. So that's one, three Y's and X's. So then he'll summon that, and then he'll just do a huge laser sweep and then a blast. If you do that though without that though, he just summons himself and just jumps forward. So yeah, though you want to make sure though that you summon your monsters beforehand. So yeah. So let's see. There's a. Uh, oh, the dragon one though is by far the best. So if you do Y four times and press X, you'll actually ride on top of him. And he is really good. He's crazy strong. But if you do that without summoning him beforehand, you will summon him and he will just shoot f flames in a forward motion. So yeah, not too bad. Let's see if I can get some good. Not too bad. One. The only problem is she's very slow. This weapon is very slow. I mean, it's strong, but it's really slow, like you were saying. And that's bad if you're trying to not get hurt. So yeah, I'm not going to be able to get the dongle this round. Let's see what else we got. And there's one more. There's one more monster we can summon, and that is the Manhandala. So let's just go ahead. But yeah, the, the dragon though is really good. And if you press X, it'll shoot a huge fireball out. So let's see. Mandala. So if he gets if some if an enemy gets caught right there, he they will become slow. So let's do So uh, Mandala is summoned by uh, uh, two Y's and an X and he'll shoot a bunch of seeds out as you can see. So two Oh uh, we didn't well you've seen it. I don't uh, you haven't seen him before. She just kinda jumps into the air. Anyways, let's go ahead. So here's the oops, that's a wrong thing. You don't have a ton of time. The monsters will eventually disappear from when you use them. So let's try Mandel again. 
Vandalus is pretty darn strong. I mean, like I said, though, the biggest problem with the summoning gate is that it leaves you very vulnerable. I none of these, none of this right here is invincibility for me. So I could get hit at any point during that time. Oh, the magic jar trooper appeared. That was really quick. So yeah. I mean, it's 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 really it's a pretty fun weapon if you have some time to mess around. But it's like, you know, it's slow. If you don't know about summoning the monsters beforehand and then doing the combo that coins that works with them, then it's a lot harder to use the summoning gate. So just know that. If you know that, then it's a lot easier and a lot more fun. So let's go ahead and try this this time. I still got to show you the weakness reveal spot, so I'll make sure. So yeah, he summons all their weapons. All right, let's go ahead and go back. Okay, so here is her uh, attack when she uh, breaks a guard. So I just wanted to show you that real quick. And still got to wait for the magic man. Okay, I'm back. Anyways, the magic man's about to appear, but I wanted to mention that I actually was misspoken. You actually do have some invincibility frames. When the blue force field appears around Lana, that's her invincibility frames, that you don't have to worry about being hit. So, you know, that's like, you know, when she was summoning stuff. Um, also, though, uh, what was it about to say? Um, crap, I was about to say something, but I forgot. It doesn't matter. But, um, yeah, though, the, one is, the X button is crucial to Lana. Without it, she can't do a lot of her very strong combos. So, yeah, it's pretty, I mean, like I said, it's, it's a pretty fun, I do like the um, weapon, but the only problem is it's very slow, and it can be easy when you're trying to set up a combo that you kill. So you really got to be very careful and cautious about that. Um, other than that, though, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a pretty cool weapon. So that's all of Wa Lana's weapons. So the next person we have to do is Zelda, I believe. And she's got three weapons just like Lana, so this video is going to be a bit longer, probably about, like, probably very similar to like the link video but you know whatever thankfully though we're coming up the next characters after zelda they only have one weapon i believe i don't think any of the other characters have multiple weapons all of them only have like one now so that will be very nice and easy for me and you know we'll get through the characters a lot faster now so okay our next character we need to look at is zelda now that we finished lana so zelda's got quite a few costumes here is her standard robe that she comes in with the game this is her Hero of Time. This is the one that she wears. This is some DLC along with the Kurikio Link outfit. Um, this is DLC with the... This looks... I, I, Zelda looks actually really pretty here. Um, this is the uh, Hyrule, uh, Tw Twilight Princess pack that you get. Uh, DLC. Uh, th uh, this one, though, is great, too. I like the, I like the Zelda. Uh, Skyloft, you know, along with Link's Skyloft form. Um, here is the Master Quest one. Looks pretty cool. Looks like Hilda from uh, Link Between. Uh, what is? It? I forgot what that game's called, but you know which one I'm talking about. Its name eludes me. Um, Ilias clothing. Yay! That's so great. Uh, Twilight robe. This one's pretty cool too. The blue. And then last but not least, the bunny hood, which is by far the best, just because that is awesome. Okay, so yeah, that's great. And here we have her first weapon, which we use during the class mode. Her rapier. This is her first one. She comes with her polished rapier. This is the second form, the glittering rapier. It's kind of ziggy. It's cool. Her gleaming rapier, which is the strongest one out of those. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but get. And then her last one is her 8-bit white sword. Zip. So let's go ahead and check out her rapier skills. Alright, so here we are, we're gonna go ahead and use Zelda, we're using the, uh, Hilda-like skin. So anyways, uh, we used Zelda before, we've, I was able to get all her combos, I believe, during the LP, but we're still gonna go ahead and go over it, so just her regular YYY, just kind of straightforward. Her guard breaker is absolutely amazing, so Y, X. Now, as I mentioned before, depending on what, uh, how many light orbs she has, her, um, Attack changes, so as you can see, because we didn't have a light orb, but if we do have a light orb, she will create a ball of light, and summon it, and throw it. So let's do Y, Y, X, oh, what's the name? Oh, well. So she'll shoot a bunch of light arrows with her Y, 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 her Y3 combo, so Y, Y, 2 combo is really good. But let's see, Y, Y, 2 without it, she just kind of does a stabbing down, and Y3 combo. Without it, she goes forward and finishes it off with like a barrage. And then that, which is really good. 
One, two, three, four. She'll just splash forward. But if she has light, one, two, three, four, she will summon that giant uh, Triforce. Go ahead. And... One, two, three. This attack's pretty good on uh, guard breakers if you can get it to hit. And I did, so that's great. It, like I said in the LP, it's kind of hard to aim the light arrows perfectly. So let's go on, finish him, finish him. And good, alright. Bam! Light arrow to the face, baby. Good puts. So there we go. Pretty good. I mean, the rapier is a pretty good weapon. It's pretty solid. It does its job very well. You know, it's a very competent light weapon. Oops, did Wanted to do this. Yeah, so, I mean, but really, though, I think the best thing about Zelda, though, is her guard break. It is destructive. It is, like, one of the best guard breakers, I think, in the whole game. It's so good. So now we just gotta... The match man should be appearing soon, so I can show you that. Bam! Alright, enemy reinforcements. We're just gonna go ahead and avoid them because... Well, actually, we'll fight them for a minute. Let's use our light arrows. And, I mean, her special is really good, too, though. It covers a... I mean, it's pretty straight. It doesn't have, like, a huge wide range, but it's it's long range. It's very good. I like the white ring. I like the white uh, magic sword. That's pretty funny. I like this costume a lot, though. I really do like uh, this Zelda's design very much. It's, it's it's regal, but yet you know, almost it almost seems like a general like kind of thing. It's very cool. She's very Zelda's pretty awesome in this game. I like her a lot. She's actually doing something. She's not just on the sidelines. I mean, even when Zelda was kind of on the sideline, she's still doing something, and she's like one of the most important characters, but yeah. So here's her special life, which I don't think we ever saw. She just summons the elements. So yeah, that's it. Okay, he's finally here. Anyways, let's go ahead, take his magic, activate it immediately, and let's get over there. So yeah, though, that's pretty much for Zelda, though. I mean, the only really new weapon you're gonna... The only thing you won't... I mean, because you've already seen the Dominion Rod... So the new weapon will be the Wind Waker, which is a pretty cool weapon. It's quite a bit of fun. It's it's quite it's quite a bit of fun. It's a good weapon. Oh, uh, you're gonna get it when this magic unleashes. All right, here we go. I think we've seen it before, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Oh, still got enough room to kill. All right, but we'll just shoot it with an arrow, and then that will be Zelda's. So there we go. That is Zelda and her rapier weapons. So now. We're gonna go ahead and try out her Wind Waker, which is a weapon you get in the adventure map. Yep, that was all of Zelda. Good job. Next weapon is the Baton, yep, from Wind Waker, so it's great that the Wind Waker has a little representation in this game. Here's the first weakest form, the Wind Waker, you can get this in Adventure Mode. Um, the next one is the Sacred Baton, it's a little stronger. Uh, strongest form of those is the Glorious Baton. And then the last 8-bit weapon is, hilariously, the Recorder. So it just looks like she shoved her fist in the Recorder. Zelda, that is not how you play it. So let's go ahead and check this weapon out. All right, here we are. We're going to go ahead and use the Wind Waker. So, anyways, uh, the Y button just summons these tornadoes. I mean, the X button summons these tornadoes. But if you hold it, you can summon like this little mini tornado that will pick up enemies and do damage. And then you keep pressing Y, it'll explode. This attack is really good on the uh, instant kill stages where everything dies in one hit. You can just like constantly do that. Anyways, though, the Wind Waker is an electric weapon. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Now let's go ahead. Wind Waker's a lot of fun though. It's really neat. Using the bunny hood costume. So let's do just its regular Y attacks, its basic Y attacks. So it actually has pretty decent range. Um, so yeah, it's pretty well covering him. Y, X, some of these little music notes. And right, let's go ahead and... I would like to get more uh, 
special, so I can definitely make sure I kill him. There you go. Come on. So let's do... Oh, nice. We're gonna do him. So, why? So, yeah, it kind of shoots out, like, sonic winds for a second. Alright, I don't know if we'll be able to finish it. And here's her special. She summons up some musical gales and just... Oh, whoa, it did. Nice. Poor Dodongo. He's getting his ass whipped constantly. And there we go. So let's do Y, Y. So this is two Ys. Makes like this instrument. I don't know what it's called. One, two, three. Whoops. That's stuff. Let's see. One, two. Ah, crap. That's stuff again. One, two. Oh. One, two, three, there we go. This is a really good one. Three Ys and the Xs, and then let's do four Ys. This is really good too, it's really strong. Oh well, that's not the move I was thinking about. One, two, three, four. Nope. Okay, I must be good. One, two, three, four, five. Here it goes. This is five Ys. That's a really good attack. That one's very strong. Let's go ahead and just kill this guy real quick, but let's not go over. Oh, ooh, jeez, gotta be careful. Oh crap! I hope that doesn't. Okay, we're good. Whew. I was a little worried. Yeah, though the tornado attack's pretty good, though. As you can see, it's in such a wide range, and you know you can make it explode, explode a dude. And now we just gotta wait for the magic. I keep calling him Magic Man. I don't know why I call him Magic Man. You know. The captain with the magic bottle, but whatever. It's all the same. I really, the the bunny hood ears are great. It's pretty funny. Too bad it doesn't make Zelda faster. I mean, she's already. I mean, they're already fast though. What I really like about the Wind Waker is though, is that as you can see, Zelda though is flying. I mean, she's levitating. She's hovering. She doesn't actually walk. This very see, she walks when she's not running, but when she starts running, she starts to fly, which is pretty cool. And her dodging, you know, she's in the air, and you can see the little wind marks underneath her feet. It's very neat. Alright, let's go ahead, activate our magic. Alright, let's go ahead and just blast them. Let's see what this does. So yeah, it's kind of like a sniper shot, so alright, that's that. Alright, here we go. Bam! Eat some music. Too bad Link couldn't do this with the Wind Waker in, uh... The Wind Waker. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead, summon it. The bunny hood totally clashes with the, uh... With the, 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 the crown. Yeah, though, the Wind Waker is quite a bit of fun. It's pretty decent range. It's pretty powerful for the most part. I mean, all the weapons are powerful, you know? It just depends on what you like to play with. And the magic's almost out, so it's gotta keep waiting. Waiting, 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 just waiting for the magic to dry out. There we go. So, I mean, yeah, that's about it, though. I mean, most of the magic, though, looks the same in this game, though. There's just a huge explosion. There's there's only a couple of unique variations, like, you know, Link's, um, uh, Great Fairy, you know, and, uh, the, the Dominion Rock, you know. But most of the time, though, they're just huge explosions with whatever color the, uh, weapon's element is. So that's about it. But yeah, the Wind Waker's cool. <laughs> I like that it plays music, uh, like Saria's song and stuff like that. It's pretty neat. <laughs> and her last weapon, and you saw it in the last part of uh, the story mode, is the Dominion Rod. So this is the old Dominion Rod, which is the one we used. So let's just summon giant statues or play tennis. Um, this is the High Dominion Rod, which is a stronger form. And then the very final form is the Royal Dominion Rod. There is no 8-bit weapon of it, unfortunately, but, you know, whatever. So let's go ahead and check this weapon out and say hi to Hank once more. Okay, here we are. We're, I'm using the Twilight Princess Zelda. I actually really do like the way this one looks. I, I really like the way they made Zelda look in this game. Um, anyway, the only thing that's weird about this costume is the underside with the dress. It looks kind of weird the way she runs. Anyways, we're using the Dominion Rod. This is the strongest form of it. Uh, 420. I don't think... I don't know if there's any higher than that. So we're going to be doing some serious destruction here today. Um, than, than what was with Ganondorf. Because that one took a bit of time. Because this was a dark weapon and it was only level 80. But yeah. So can again of course depending on which one you have. The weapons are a little different. So this is just pure X with the owl statue. Great crowd control. 
So there's that, and if we and this is, of course, we should probably show you by itself too. But let me see. oh, looks like he's gonna let's summon Hank. He's gonna, yeah, there we go. We're gonna use Hank because he's really destructive. So we're just gonna show his regular just X combos. Most of the time, though, you just probably just want to do the regular combos because if you change it, you'll change the uh, um, whoever the what statue is being used at the time. So yeah. The Y, the X button changes what statue will come out. So there it is. Bam! Straight up destruction. I like it though, if you're using Hank, there's like rocks. So anyways, uh, without the statue though, it's this, you know, it's pretty good though. Even without it, it does a pretty decent job. It's fairly strong, but the, the real strength is the statues itself, so... Head and just do Hanks, which we've seen a lot of. He's probably the one we've already seen before, but yeah. so this is just regular straight X combo. Okay, so let's go ahead and try something X Y. Summon the Owl. X. I mean Y Y X. We'll summon Hank. He does two hammer stomps. A three. Y Y Y X. Hank again. And I think one, two, three, four. We summon the Burt. No. I did it wrong. Or no, that's not it either. There's one where we summon the bird and we ride on him. It's really cool. It's kind of hard to tell what combo you're on with the. Um, there it is. It's kind of hard to. It's kind of hard to tell what combo you're on with this weapon because the weapon has such a flowing motion. And the feathers. This Dominion round looks pretty cool. So yeah, let's go ahead and just kill this guy. Gotta make sure not to kill over though. It's really easy though. Oh! Please don't kill over, please don't kill over, please don't kill over. Ooh, okay. Way too close. And, uh, I'll pro I'll have to show you the special too. I'll show you the special on um, this guy right here. Just in case. I like the big ruby at the bottom of this rod. Very neat. I just really like this weapon a lot. Alright, here we go. BEAM! So there you go, just smashing the shit out of them. Alright. I like the way that she summons her magic, it's really cool looking. And go ahead and just you Ooh, I just gonna hit a couple. Whoa! I forgot that's what that looks like. That is probably the coolest one in the whole game. That is awesome. Okay, he's here. Let's go ahead, steal it. Oops, a too close to the camera. Alright, and let's go ahead and activate it. And off we go. Let's just go ahead and kill a couple more enemies. That one, like I said, you know, I, I usually could use Hank, but the Owl Statue, though, is no slouch either. The, the Owl Statue, like I said, is really great because, you know, it focuses on such a wide crowd, while Hank is better on more specific, smaller crowds because, you know, it stays in kind of a more general area. BAM! And there we go. That is Zelda. That is all of Zelda's weapons, so we have finished Zelda and Lana's. And next part, we can go ahead and start doing all the characters that only have one weapon. Thank goodness. I'm so glad we don't have to do multiple weapons no more. Because none of the other characters, if my memory serves me correctly, all of them only have one weapon. And I think the next one is Ganondorf. I think. I'm not 100% sure. Sorry, I'm stretching. Oh, my back. But you know what, though? Um, I'm going to end the video here. So, uh, this has been Yoham Gamble. Thanks for watching. See you next time as we continue more bonus episodes of Hyper Warriors and go through all the weapons, costumes, and abilities in the next part. Okay, bye then.